First, we need a QSYS core. It's not a traditional AV device, but a server that is built on IT standard technologies and operates over a standard network to monitor and manage all audio, video, and control. Then, in each room, you can use native QSYS peripherals to build the AV system for that space. Let's have a look at this native QSYS touch panel. It allows for full room control, as well as integrating with a conferencing device for remote learning. We can also allow users to control native and third-party devices using only the browser on their smartphone, which is great for reducing physical contact. Your centralized QSYS core means that it's straightforward to deploy as many user interfaces to as many devices as you need and update them just as easily. You can add all kinds of rooms to your project, such as huddle spaces, lecture theaters, and teal collaboration spaces. And as this is running on the campus network, we can distribute audio and video to anywhere while retaining centralized control via the core. Of course, it's also possible to have smaller QSYS cores which allow for certain spaces to be managed independently alongside the rooms that are managed centrally. Next, let's connect all the systems to your QSYS Reflect account, where Enterprise Manager will let you remotely monitor and manage all of your AV systems globally. This cloud service can link into an existing IT dashboard, or you can use any device with a browser. Here, you can remotely view all your QSYS sites and will automatically get alerts about any issues that come up for both native and third-party devices. But because we only need to connect the core to the cloud, this is also very easy to set up. So that's QSYS. Easy to manage and monitor remotely, scalable, with comprehensive control capabilities and based on secure IT standard technologies for audio, video and control.